Oh, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Centerville, Virginia, and even more specifically than that, we are at Cox Farms. They're currently having their fall festival, a very well populated fall festival. The, the parking lot is roughly the size of Disney World's parking lot, and it is completely full. A lot of people here drinking cider, buying donuts, buying pumpkins and other assorted gourds. And as much as I enjoy those activities, I am here for another reason. There is a classic roadside attraction. It was known as Foamhenge in Natural Bridge, Virginia. Unfortunately, at one point, Foamhenge went away. But legend has it, it was reborn. It was moved here to Cox Farms. However, you couldn't just show up anytime and visit Foamhenge like you used to in Natural Bridge, Virginia. You had to, uh, the only time you can visit it is during the fall festival here at Cox Farms. And I was driving through Virginia, headed up north, and I realized they're having their fall festival. I could maybe stop. It's been years and years since I've been to Foamhenge. Maybe I could stop here and visit Foamhenge at Cox Farms. So please, follow me. Out front they have these photo ops. They have a series of giant feet that uh, you can put uh, that you can put your normal sized feet in. Look at me! Got giant feet. Some Sasquatch feet here as well. Is there, is there a Virginia Sasquatch? What do you call Sasquatch in Virginia? Here is a nice fiberglass couch to sit on. Of course, half couch, half cow. Put them together and you have a couch. Yeah, why are there so many giant feet? Here we have soul mates. Yeah, there's some amazing feet there. Check out my little buddy here, little flower man. Get his little, little he's like a head like a flower. Got a little mustache there. Hey, buddy. Oh, here we have a uh, space Martian we can hang out with on the bench. It's like maybe it's wearing overalls at some point. People have like torn apart this poor alien's clothing. All right, to get in, we need to show our wristbands. There we go. So we head in to the entrance. Oh, look at this. Mysterious floating faucet floating there unassisted in the air while water pours out of it. Complete insanity. So I'm a sucker for a good hayride, and supposedly they do have a uh, they do have quite the hayride here from what I understand. So let's go check out the hayride first. I yeah, definitely wanted to do, uh, make sure we got to ride the hayrides. Yeah, with all these people here, definitely wanted to make sure I had a chance to do the hayride. So uh, let's queue up. Yeah, quite a few people in line for the hayrides. <laughs> Be careful, the hayride may be too bumpy for pregnant people. You hate to have a baby pop out during a hayride. Oh, look at this. This pig here is a pirate. I don't know that I've ever seen a pirate pig before. And this uh, this cow here is, uh, is, uh, is that a head of a horse? That's a horse's head on a cow, maybe? And our chariot awaits. <laughs> All right, gotta find a good spot to sit here in the hay.
here. I'll see George Washington, Abe Lincoln, oh, yeah. Richard Nixon. Oh, there's aliens coming out of this crashed spacecraft. Oh, hey, aliens. Hey. Oh my goodness. All right, that was pretty. That was pretty amazing. on a golf cart over there. Oh, oh, the easy way and a hard way here. We're going the hard way. Oh, look at this bus here. Oh my goodness, we got like goblins and dragons there in the window. Oh, we're going through the water? We're gonna, we're gonna fjord the river here? Reptar. Another water crossing. Spooky ghost. I definitely enjoy hay rides. Kind of reminds me of like a rustic, primitive dark ride. Oh yeah. Spinosaurus over there. Got T Rex up ahead. Oh, look at that. A football game. Aliens, aliens versus gnomes. Interesting. Uh, Interesting square off. Who's that over there? Is that another ghost? So I would not go in here if I were you. This is a win. Oh no! The black cauldron, coffee house, full of witches. There's a man right there. Yes. Yeah. 
strawberry. You got it! It's a blueberry! A blueberry? <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Grumpy old troll there. Very happy looking. Party barn here. Giant B, how are you doing? Doing good? Oh, remember, always be yourself. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a real knee slapper, I know. <laughs> All right, gotta love bee humor. And here we have it. Here is Foamhenge. It says, what is Foamhenge at Cox Farms? It's a full-sized, astronomically accurate replica of the outer ring of Stonehenge, created by artist Mark Klein of Enchanted Castle Studios in 2004. Yeah, it's so great to be back here at Foamhenge. It has been, it's been too long. So yeah, this brings back a lot of memories being here at uh, Foamhenge. Really reminds me of uh, my first real, I don't know, my first real uh, road trip with, uh, to see uh, roadside attractions. It was back in, back in 2008. I got my job as a, uh, as a social worker working in Child Protective Services and I was very broke before then. Just was, you know, waiting tables, um, you know, part-time, going to college, you know, with two kids, not have a lot of money to go around. So when I first got my job, I was able to afford a little more, afford a, a little, you know, not a lot more, but just a little more, afford to have a few dollars to put aside to do a family trip. And I had been very interested in roadside attractions, but, um, you know, most of that was just, re just researching on the internet, looking up pictures on the internet. I would travel, you know, a little bit, and I mean, like, by a little bit, I mean, like, I would drive two, three hours in a day to maybe uh, to take some photos of something and then uh, and then, then drive back. Could never afford to stay overnight. That was, that was way out of my price range. And, um, but then 2008, got a little bit of money to just take a little vacation, a little two day trip, saved up for, and um, you know, but I was thinking about what, you know, what roadside attractions wanted to see and I wanted to go, you know, just cause it was closer it was it was just a couple hours drive. It was um, it, it was not going out you know not like not out of reach. But I um, I wanted to go to Natural Bridge, Virginia. And at the time, you had Natural Bridge, which is a form like a rock formation. The highway actually goes over this rock formation. Really cool rock formation. But then around it, at the actual uh, Natural Bridge Park, they had some other attractions. That were that were tied in with the uh, with the bridge, and a lot of these attractions were made by Mark Klein, who um, who is a friend of mine now. He he did not know who I was back then, but uh, Mark Klein he creates he does a lot of fiberglass. He's done a lot of the, the newer uh, muffler men you see, but it's it, but it's just been doing fiberglass forever. You can see his works all across the country. But he, in, in in Natural Bridge, Virginia, he had. Um, his own attractions right there at the at the bridge. He had um, the original Dinosaur Kingdom. Now we have Dinosaur Kingdom 2. Dinosaur Kingdom 1 was at Natural Bridge. And um, also there he had a haunted house, uh, Professor Klein's 
monster museum that uh, that was a, was a haunted house walkthrough, and uh, we later had an attraction called uh, Hunt Bigfoot with a Redneck, which was uh, I never actually got a chance to go out and see that one, but um, and also. He had Foamhenge, kind of the, the crown jewel at uh, Natural Bridge. On top of a hill, they had a replica of Stonehenge made out of styrofoam. And I was so excited, so excited to see all these attractions. I could go to this one place, we could stay the night, and we could see all these different attractions. It's the Monster Museum, the uh, the Natural Br the the the, the foam henge, Dinosaur Kingdom 1, and keep in mind, I wasn't even doing video at this time. I was just taking photos. I was just taking photos, uploading them to my Flickr page. It's kind of how uh, how things got started, uh, how things got started, uh, kind of evolved. The very, very, very primordial version of this channel was my, uh, was my Flickr page. But uh, yeah, went out there, got to see it. Foam henge was actually slightly damaged when I went out there. It had, the wind had come through had blown down some of the, of the stones. But um, yeah, I got to see the Dinosaur Kingdom, which that was probably my favorite. The, di it was the, the, the Dinosaur Kingdom wanted a little bit of a different theme, but it was still had the, uh, the uh, Civil War soldiers versus dinosaurs. I think the original version had like a family that was like trapped in the area. So it like a little bit different storyline and uh, then the Monster Museum. It was a lot of creativity, a lot of Mark Klein's trademark weird stuff. And I actually met Mark Klein while I was there. I recognized him. I said hello to him, took a picture of him. And then, you know, later, you know, as, as, as this channel grew and I reached out to Mark, uh, we ended up, you know, we ended up hanging out a few times and I consider, consider him a friend uh, these days. So a lot of, a lot of history here with, uh, with Foamhenge. And you notice we are not in Natural Bridge. Foamhenge, Actually, I had to leave Natural Bridge. It made me so sad. In 2016, the state took over the Natural Bridge Park. It was actually privately owned prior to that. So 2016, the state comes in. They, um, but they want they want the other attractions gone. They want the roadside attractions gone. And I don't think it was. I don't think there was a lot of animosity. Mark doesn't speak ill of anything there. But he was he had to move his attractions. So the Monster Museum. The Monster Museum had actually, uh, that it was already gone, that it burned down in a fire. But um, the attractions had to leave. Mark had to take his, his, his uh, creations away. And he had to disassemble Foamhenge and take it away. And I know he was looking for a permanent home for Foamhenge. Apparently he landed on uh, Cox Farms here. Unfortunately, you can't, like I said, you can't just show up here and see it. You do have to come during the fall festival. But things kind of aligned on this trip and I was able to uh, get out here during the fall festival and see Foamhenge. So uh, really excited to be here. Like I said, a flood, a flood of memories uh, coming back. This is just an observation and not a complaint, but um, I was here at Foamhenge. See, it's a pretty open area. It's not a crowded area. I put my jacket over here next to the post because it was getting warm while I was uh, filming Foamhenge. And um, you know, while I was speaking there, no less than three people stepped on my jacket. I don't know, with, there's a lot of walkway here. Three people stepped on this jacket. It's fine, I don't care. It's just it, interesting, interesting observation that people would just walk over top a jacket when there's like a very ample space to walk through. Over here we have the dino slide. People flying down on their potato sacks. Now, I would hop aboard the uh, dino slide, but the line for the dino slide is roughly as long as the line for Space Mountain. See the barbecue stand there. A little dinosaur poking his head out of the top. See the junked out car there. It says for sale. I guess it used to run good, but now it just now it just runs. The wintry photo op here, a snowman, a volcano, and then you can pose here on this sled. Right. <laughs> Apparently some nights they do have a uh, 
a haunted corn maze here, which I actually love the name, Corn Nightmare, Corn Nightmare, Corn Nightmare. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not open today, but uh, yeah, I, I would go in Corn Nightmare just because of that name. Oh my goodness. Look at this big pig. And look at how many piglets are there. I've never seen so many piglets in one litter. That's like, my gosh. I'll listen to the mamas snoring or grunting. Ah, the miracle of life. I went hog wild at Cox Farms. And earlier we saw the couch. This is the uh, pig version of that, known as the pouch. And here we have our friends from Oz over here on the Yellow Brick Road. Oh, look at the, li the lion there. He's sad because he has no courage. There's uh, the uh, Tin Man winking because he has no heart. And uh, the scarecrow over here, sad because he has no face. There's no place like home. It looks like they have a bunch of different slides here. Here's the barn slide. Yeah, it looks like they have a bunch of different varieties of slides here. Here's the barn slide. What's this? Cor Cornundrum? There's a vortex? A pirate's tomb and a bug room? Wait, Cornundrum also has pirates, a cave, and a monster museum? What is this? Yeah, we are definitely heading into Cornundrum with all the fun listed there. It's like a corn maze of some sort. Corn under them. Love the name too. Alright, time to head deep, deep into the corn. Oh, look at that. See some of the, some of the corn sticking out. Alright, we're heading into this school bus here. This is interesting. Oh, okay. Got polka dots here. Vortex, vortex tunnel here inside the school bus. Oh, the vortex. Oh, oh my God. very disorientating. Oh no, my two greatest challenges have merged together. We are in a corn maze, mirror maze hybrid. Oh no, corn and mirrors. Yeah, what is more challenging, a corn maze, a mirror maze, or a hybrid of the two. Oh, hiding there in the corn. A little grasshopper. Okay, this here must be the bug house. See the giant praying mantis up at the top. See the outside is covered in creeping and crawling bugs and lizards. What the heck? Oh, look at this. In the bug house here, everything is covered in bugs and everything is slanted and disorientating. And who hangs a picture of a scorpion over their couch? <laughs> Into the bathroom here. Look at that, there's even bugs crawling in the toilet bowl. Oh, look at this. This giant fire ants behind the bug house, as well as this maniacal looking cockroach. Oh, we even see a little alien hiding back there. What do pigs dress up as on Halloween? Frankenswine. Actually, Frankenswine was the name of the doctor. All right, we got a, uh, a tube obstacle up ahead. All right, first through the corn, then the mirrors, then they pull out the tubes. Just never, 
Never, uh, never ends. Completely unrelenting cord maze. We can either exit or experience more conundrum. I'm going with conundrum, and oh, what a conundrum is this. Giant domino sculptures. Oh, this is fun. This, you know what? I'm, I'm getting very close to declaring this as the greatest corn maze I've ever been in. I've been in a lot of corn mazes. What do you guys think? What is the greatest corn maze in existence? Is it cornundrum, or is it one that I'm forgetting? Some uh, giant tiki heads here amongst the corn. Okay, this is uh, this is ominous looking. I don't know. I forget what it said on the on the sign. Is this some sort of cave here? Oh, what's here in the cave? You can hear water dripping. Oh, a cave tiger. Cave tiger right there. Oh, there's no jump scares in there. No scares in caves. Let's see the big frog. Ah, oh, a little monkey too. Arr! There's a pirate and an alien together at last. Oh, there's another creepy pirate there hiding. I was gonna say hiding amongst the corn, but actually suddenly, suddenly this is bamboo. We're so, when, when, did we, when, did we, when did we, when did we turn into a bamboo maze? Oh, there's a walk here over the swamp. I see a pirate laying on the hammock. Oh, there's also a huge gator over there as well. It's like a little pirate uh, walk here. Oh, I don't know if I trust this bridge. Okay. The bridge can, can rock the bridge there. I see the bridge, the rocky bridge there. All right, enough of that nonsense. I see the pirate ship up there. A little shark and a little pirate skeleton. What has ears but can't hear? I'm gonna go on a limb and say corn. A cornfield. I'm gonna say I, I said just a corn, just corn. I, I still think my answer works. Oh, look at this! Oh, what a problem you have with uh, cornfields. It's getting infested with giant crows. And he says burp, so a giant burping crow there. I guess he's burping because he's eating so much corn. And then this giant corn cob here is crying because the crow ate uh, ate his best friend and his parents and his children. Okay, heading through a giant pumpkin up ahead. All right, I got the punk pumpkin dangles there in my face. Why can't you tell a secret in a cornfield? Is this, is this, because it has ears? Is this just a reversal of the, of the last joke? It has too many ears. Yeah, I really feel like that, in essence, the last two jokes were just the, the same joke, just reversed. Almost peering at us here through the corn. It looks like an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. Oh, look at this Egyptian statue here. So notice that it is a crow, which is a is a nice touch. So I guess we're going into the uh, into the uh, Egyptian tomb here. Oh wait, it says shh, secret passage. All right, let's go into the into the secret passage here. Oh wow. Priceless Egyptian artifacts in here. Oh, there's another another hidden alien there. What kind of corn can you eat but never grow? I don't know, is this some sort of ear-related joke? <laughs> so candy corn is the corn that you can eat but never grow, but I disagree. You can actually grow regular corn turn it into high fructose corn syrup, and then make candy corn out of it. So in a way you can grow candy corn. There's uh, Michelangelo's David. Uh, looks like they put some shorts on him to uh, to not traumatize the children in the corn maze. Looks like he's in the shower as well, I guess wearing swim trunks in the shower. Some optical 
illusions here. There's where you can see the, it's either a, a young woman or an old woman. You can see the nose of the old woman, the mouth of the old woman, or that could be the nose of the young woman, the eye. I don't know, you guys can see it, can't you? Here's another, uh, another illusion. You have the princess there. You see her crown, her face, but we can twirl her upside down and uh, there she's an old woman. So another uh, young to old illusion. There's her old mouth. There's her eyes, her old hair. Yeah, these all remind me of the uh, the world of illusions. <laughs> oh, look at that. That'll hypnotize you. What do you call a horse that lives next door? I'm going to say a neighbor, because nay is the sound that a horse makes, and it sounds like neighbor, which is the person that would live next door. Oh, nailed it. Oh, and here we are at the Monster Museum. And here we look at a monstrous hand, almost like Thing from Adam's family. What other monsters are, are hiding in here? Oh, there we go. There is uh, Count Dracula. I'm almost afraid to open this door here. Oh, the Wolfman. The Wolfman in there. And look at that, from his hand, it looks like he just got done punching the mummy. See these portraits here, have the uh, eye holes. I guess we can go to the other side and put our eyes through here. This one here looks like uh, Popcorn Sutton quite a bit. Can you see my eyeball? My eyeball's coming through in the video. You see me looking here through Popcorn Sutton? Yeah, there's all these different doors here. Don't know which one to open. Let's see if there's a monster in here. Oh, and there it is. There's the mummy. I said it looked like the wolfman had just got done uh, giving him a punch. Let's try this door here. It does not look like that one opens. Let's uh, give this one a try. Oh, yeah. And there's Frankenstein. So we have kind of the, the main, uh, the main uh, universal monsters here. Missing some of the Universal Monster Extended Universe, but uh, we had uh, Dracula, Wolfman, The Mummy, and Frankenstein. Don't, don't actually me. And it looks like we have reached a fork in the road. Are there some elephants here in, uh, in the corn? We were making elephant noises. Oh, another corn alien there. Oh my gosh. Elephants making horrible noises. Also have a, uh, a rhino in the corn. All right, look, there's a little bridge up here. We can look out onto the corn next to this giraffe. Yeah, looking out on uh, Cornundrum here. You can see the bug house over there. There's uh, the Monster Museum. Of course, the elephants down there. And off in the distance, you can see the uh, crashed UFO from the hayride. Elephant! Across the bridge here by the giraffe. Oh, this is going to take us out of Cornundrum. It says, Cox Farms, if you're lost, I can help. But I don't think it's actually this, uh, this uh, press board woman. I don't think she could actually help. But if you think if you find someone wearing a similar vest, she could uh, probably help you out. And here is the volcano slide. It's the combine slide, an actual old farm combine. You can go and slide through the tube. Now here's the penny pit. I've never seen this before, but apparently you just, you dig through the hay and you look for pennies. So there's pennies dispersed amongst the hay. Let's see if we can find, I guess literally like finding a needle in a haystack, but they couldn't put needles in here because that would uh, be very painful. You just dig through here looking for, for pennies. Not finding any 
pennies. Let's see here. How many pennies are in here? I think the pennies may have all been uh, picked out of here by now. And here we have the tractor museum. They took all the tractors, put them in a tractor museum, and they charged the people a dollar and a half just to see them. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. They pay paradise, put up a parking lot. Here we have the goat pen. You enter here under the uh, three billy goats gruff. Hey, goats, just hanging out here next to this dragon. Are you a friendly goat? Oh, you are a friendly goat. Nice to meet you. That's a good goat. Good goat. Good old goat. Got these two twin goats right here. Hey, little guys. Yeah, friendly goats in here. It's our well-fed friendly goats. I wonder which one of these goats is the greatest of all time. This is the strangest thing I've ever put my face in. What even is this photo op here? It's like I'm a corn cob, a multicolored corn cob, and I have wheels for some reason. What's going on here? So this is some sort of horse brushing station where you have these horse tails and you can, uh, you can brush the tails. Looks like some people have made some braids there in these uh, horse tails. So I lifted that, that hay bale, but here you actually gotta try to lift a tract, pull a tractor up a hill with a rope. Ooh, duck races here we gotta put our duck here next to the, the water pump and uh, I guess we gotta, gotta pump that oh, there we go it launches a little duck down there to the other end the name of this food stand here is guess what chicken butt what's what's this lurking up here I don't know I don't know what these what these are I guess it is now time to head into the forest. The dragon here says, welcome to the Imagine Nature Trail. Well, you can see the ranger there. You can see a rabbit. Oh, and there's a fox. Chaos reigns. Oh, spotted a little possum scurrying up the tree. It's a good way to guarantee that you actually do see wildlife when you're in the woods. It says Farmer Bo Peep has lost five sheep. Will you help her find them? Is that a sheep? Oh no, that's a, that's a skunk. I guess we have to keep our eyes out for for uh, for sheep. It says welcome y'all. Come on in. Oh, what is this? Is this is this the three bears house? Oh yeah, you got. The three different types of porridge there, here in the uh, Three Bears living room. And the Three Bears have a uh, a double jackalope mount there. The one with the antlers is the male. The female jackalope actually does not have antlers. Little known fact. So we exit the uh, Three Bears kitchen here. Uh, looks like bears love eating marshmallow fluff. And here out back we see the Three Bears. There's Mama Bear. There's the uh, Ever naive baby bear and the large angry papa bear as they've been uh, devouring this big barrel of honey. And there's one of our lost sheep. Oh, look at this. We have a tower here, and there is Rapunzel letting down her hair. 
see a wanted poster for Robin Hood there. Some uh, archery targets ahead of us. Yeah! Okay! Oh, got some chimpanzees there, hanging from the treetops. Some giant mushrooms. And what the heck is this? We have the Explorium here. All right, into the Explorium. Got drums on the ceiling. Oh yeah, there's another jackalope. All sorts of crazy things hanging off the walls in here. Yeah, what kind of Explorium is this? The keyboard, stoplight, what a, uh, what a ra wacky little shack this is. Oh, there we go. There's another one of uh, Bo Peep's sheep. And don't look now, Little Red Riding Hood. We got the, uh, the big bad wolf slurking over here. And what kind of creature is that? I don't know, he looks like he, he graduated from somewhere. If the slipper fits. I guess it's one of uh, Cinderella's glass slippers there. What do you know? A perfect fit. It's another one of Bo Peep's sheep. And a, uh, a pile of wood full of beavers. It's another one of those wacky dragons. And, uh, oh, is that like a... Like a hobbit house, right there. Oh, another little dragon up there. Warning, please do not feed the Sasquatch. Oh look, there he is. Oh, that is a big, happy Sasquatch right there. Hey buddy. <laughs> the Sasquatch says, believe in yourself, especially when no one else will. And you know what? That kind of touches my heart. I, I definitely endorse this message too because uh, there's been times in my life where I had to believe in myself because no one else will. Sasquatch has to has to do that every day and, uh, and you guys should do that too. Yeah, I'm curious about these little dragons. This one's got a trucker hat with a tomato on it. See the pocket watch there. Of course the pocket watch belongs to the white rabbit and it looks like we're getting ready to head down in the white rabbit's hole here the psychedelic hole of the white rabbit oh look at that we got uh but uh, got a party happening on the ceiling there it's the five of hearts the two of hearts the four of hearts the six of hearts and the nine of hearts luckily we avoided the queen of hearts we got a unicorn in the woods with some fun facts about uh, about unicorns. They're based on a horse. And their special abilities involve able to render poisoned water potable, heal sickness, has magical powers. You can make uh, nasty water drinkable. That's very useful to have a unicorn around. Oddly enough, there was no unicorns in the corn maze. Yuna means one, corn means corn. Into the gnome village here. Population 24, only 24 gnomes here. Eh, little gnomes, all 24 little gnomes frolicking around the forest. Oh, look at this. They want a Bo Peep's sheep disguised as a gnome. Did you know the, the, the poem Humpty Dumpty? A lot of people say that it means this or it means that, but the fact of the matter is, no one actually knows the true interpretation of the poem. There's a bunch of different theories, but there's no one conclusive answer. People just people just forgot. No fishing over here because we got our friend uh, the Loch Ness Monster here in the woods. Oh, here we have some friends of Dorothy. Scarecrow there. Oh, there's the Tin Man. I guess he's got some, uh, some oil there or some WD-40 in that can. Oh, don't worry, lion. There's nothing to be afraid of going on out here. And 
coming up on the Three Pigs house. Pigs are in their uh, Hawaiian hula gear, as is the last sheep. At least I think that's the last sheep. And then the super smart pig is inside his brick house playing the ukulele. Now I've seen a lot of giant Adirondack chairs in my travels, but this may be the most giant, largest Adirondack chair I've ever seen. Some little pumpkins here. Put these pumpkins here in your pockets. As you exit here, it says you can actually pick a patch pumpkin. You get one pumpkin per wristband, so I can actually take a pumpkin home with me. So many wonderful pumpkins to choose from. Let's see, gotta make sure, make sure it's not all squishy. I don't know, a lot of great pumpkins here. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Make sure there's no soft spots. I think we'll, I think we'll take this little guy. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with gourds. I think they were like really cheap, and you could buy all these strange, weird gourds. I were asking my mom if I could, uh, if I could pick out some, some gourds. I always like the weird, lumpy ones. And then if your complimentary pumpkin isn't big enough have a whole bunch of larger pumpkins for sale here at the pumpkin patch. Oh yeah, there are some massive pumpkins here. You make quite a jack-o'-lantern out of that. It's a wonderful afternoon here at uh, Cox Farms. Uh, the Foam Henge, I'm so excited to see Foam Henge again. It has a lot of, a lot of memories associated with Foam Henge, just the sort of, sort of uh, roadside attraction that I, that I live for. Uh, but then even besides Foam Henge, I had a lot of fun here. Uh, I love the hayride. I, you know, hayrides are a lot of fun, but I like when they spice it up, add things, add the aliens, add the witches, the cowboys, all the fun stuff that they added to the hayride. Kind of, like I said, makes it kind of almost like a, uh, like a, uh, like a dark ride style when there's things to do, stuff to see on uh, on the hayride, and then the corn maze, the cornundrum. I really love, really love what they did there with the corn maze concept. Now, I like corn mazes, but they do run the risk of becoming a little repetitive. You know, just a lot of corn, you get lost, you just see corn all over. Uh, but this basically just took the concept and and turned it basically turned a corn maze into a fun house, which I love to put the different things, the different mini attractions within the corn maze that I thought was a lot of fun. So a lot of fun to be had, a lot of great agro-tourism fun to be had here at uh, Cox Farm. But uh, if, uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun random stuff. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more gets you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, uh, as well as doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in receiving a message from me for yourself, for a friend, for a family member, for a special occasion, for any occasion, uh, check in the description of this video. And it is uh, on Cameo. And uh, of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.